if I was a hollow human being, without not preconceived ideas of your, yeah. your faith, I would be asking critical questions, questions such as, okay, what you're quoting for me is 325 to 375. These are how many years uh, after 381 the death of Jesus? To three, oh, how so many how many years, years after, after Jesus? the yeah. death of Jesus? Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Jesus apparently died at the year 35. Well, 33 to 35, you don't know exactly what year. Now, the earliest Christians, I wouldn't even call them Christians, because in your Bible it says the people that followed the way, the way. Who were they, first and foremost? What were their beliefs? Second, now, when we look back in, in time and what the scholars tell us now, there were groups like the Ebionites, the Nazareans, the Nazareans, the people that followed in, uh, Jesus, uh, his family, his brother, his uh, mother, uh, his aunt, all of these people were, were called the Nazareans. Well, you know, you, you actually are going beyond the evidence about the Ebionites and the Nazarenes. No, there's very little known about the Ebionites and the Nazarenes. They, Nazarenes. They found they're I've, they got, found I've got copies, so there's very little but, but, about the Ebionites and Nazarenes. But if you read Bar Sermon, but you'll what, find there's very little known about but, but, them. But what was their faith? Their, what was their beliefs? The earliest Christians. My argument is this, yeah. and I'm going to state what my yeah. argument is. Yeah. We can't call Jesus God because in the earliest time in which when Jesus was alive, he did not claim to be God, number one, and the people that around him didn't know who he was. Some of them didn't know who he was. Some of them believed that he was a messenger. Some of them believed he was a holy man. Okay. There was nothing in terms of literature. There was nothing in terms of oral tradition where Je people were saying that Jesus was God. Okay, nothing, right. So you want me to bring you yes. a whole tranche of documents which say Jesus is God. 35 to let's say okay, I, might have, I might have some 35 stuff. 35 to 5 years after the death of Jesus. 5 years. Look, all I'm So saying, you're accepting then that after 40 there were loads of people saying he's God. No, there were people. I'll, 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 I'll give you an example. Paul. Paul. He came after Jesus yeah. and we have his epistles. Okay. Hebrews it's, 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 it's argued that it was him and some people say no, it wasn't him. But modern scholars say he didn't write Hebrews. Now, when we look at his epistles, he is the only one who is sort of arguing that Jesus was some sort of a, diet, uh, a, a God. In terms of like the many, many verses, of when, I, when I was reading his epistles, he sort of um, pushes towards Jesus being uh, uh, greater than, than, than other men. So he's, more than, so he's the only one who says he's more than a man. But, but is that what you're saying? In terms of literature, well, what I'm talking about is the earliest, yeah. earliest uh, manuscripts yeah. and earliest. Uh, so you're not oranges. familiar with the Gospel of Mark? When we look at Mark, when is it dated at? And it doesn't say in any way, shape, or form. When we read Mark, I don't disagree with anything when it comes to Mark. So you agree with as, everything as, as, in Mark? In terms of, there's nothing which sends alarm bells for me. I'll tell you why. When we read Mark, even Mark himself, the author doesn't know who Jesus is. The way he's talking, he doesn't know who Jesus is. When we read it, I you don't understand go, what you're saying there. The author, he's confused to the... Well, wait, the tell me where he's confused. The, the, he doesn't claim that Jesus is God. And I know, he, when you said he's confused, he doesn't know who Jesus is. He's saying that people did not know who he was. And it, it's, it, yeah, but you said the author doesn't know who he is. But what I'm, I'm, this is what I'm Listen, I'm sorry. I, I don't you're want not, to... Maybe you don't if, understand. You no, don't understand when, when you said it. the author doesn't no, know no, who no, Jesus is... No, the people is. that are around... Okay, okay, yeah, no, right. The people that are around Jesus, they don't know who he is. Okay. They don't say that he is God or, or he's a messenger or... Well, we, we, we think historically there was a lot of kind of air questioning who is this. This That's perfectly historically the case. This is what I'm saying. If Mark is the earliest manuscript, or ma er earliest Bible that we have, and what you're saying is, if Mark is, then it should be written Jesus, or people saying that Jesus is God. In Matthew's Bible, when Jesus goes to the man, the blind man, and he says to the blind man, um, and other people ask him, uh, has his ancestors committed sin for why he's the reason why he's blind? And Jesus said no. And then when they ask him after, who's this man that came to you? And the man says to him, those people that are around him, this man was a me is a messenger because he believes he's a messenger. So yes, but you you know, in, in Catholicism, Jesus is priest, prophet and king. Therefore, he fulfills different roles. Okay. So we can say, this, we say, we say messenger is fine. Messenger is not no problem, okay. but he fulfills roles which are encapsulated in him? his deity, in his deity. Sorry. If so you know messenger, it's not you're confusing. Him. Who sent him if he's a messenger? It is it is plain from scripture that the Holy Tr God Christ comes from My question is if he's from a messenger, heaven. Who sent him? But to be a messenger, he comes from the Father. So the Father sent him. 
He says himself in St. John's I'm Gospel, I'm, I'm from the Father. Okay. So is he the Father? No. no, he's the second person of the Trinity. The Father is the first person of the Trinity. See, well, let's get on to that in a moment. Let's just separable? take these points yeah. about... Um, first, you go to um, Mark's Gospel, right? You said you're happy with Mark's Gospel. Yeah, as I said, when it comes but actually, to Mark, there's an issue in, that I have with Mark. In Mark's Gospel, yeah. what's the issue? The issue is when we look at the KJV and we compare it the KJV to the NIV, whole chapters have been taken out because now we've established, or well, they've established now that when we talk about the resurrection, the last part of Mark, it's been totally taken out. Yes, but it's long well known that the, the last several verses of Mark yeah. um, are not part of Mark originally. But then this is my argument. This, your, 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 this is my whole argument. How can we believe the, the, the validity of what you have in your hand when men or scribes have been adding, amending, deleting, omitting. For the simple reason yeah. that you accept the authority of the Holy Catholic Church, which attests but these are men, documents are true. But they are men. No, like, no, they're, they're members of the church are men, yes. but the Holy Catholic Church acting corporately, teaching corporately, is divinely ordained well, okay, to tell well, you what is scripture and what is not. Divine.